Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Fritz of Anomyces. Get it on the hype train. Choo choo. Uh, I'm really excited about this, but you, I, I didn't know much about this beer until you started talking about it, and we cracked it, and the hype was getting. <laughs> was building itself. Building because of the aromas when pouring this beer. Uh, this is uh, a beer that we got at. Himmelin, or actually we didn't get it, our good friend Julio was kind enough to stand in line to get a can of this beer along with a bottle of Cantillon Blah Bear 2018. Uh, it was released, both beers were released during McKellar's uh, Beer Week, hmm. uh, during NBCC, uh, but um, not at any of the McKellar places, at Himmelin. Himmelin is uh, Jeppe, so Mikkel's brother's place, his bar, and they have a crazy selection of beer, and they release you, oh fuck, this is a, the wind gave a whiff of it in my face. Ah. And <laughs> they release uh, Blubber there every year. It's a huge line. We couldn't make it for the line for Blubber, but in the line you could buy cans of this amongst other equilibrium beers and uh, Magnify yeah. and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So Julio was kind enough to stay in line. So thanks a ton, Julio. You are the man, my friend. Yeah. See you tomorrow, you. actually, for Albo, or Saturday for Albo Carnival. Uh, he's coming up here. But cool. this is none other than the Equilibrium and District 96 Sexual fluctuation, double IPA on eight percent, featuring Citra and Galaxy hops. So apparently, they've had a cr close relationship between them, uh, Equilibrium and District Ninety Six, mm. over the years. Apparently, the first beer that they did in Cakes Equilibrium was made at District Ninety Six uh, Brewery. District Ninety Six has a beer called Sexual Frustration, which is was it Galaxy or was it Citra? Is that Citra? The Citra forward, yeah. and they have. Um, fluctuation at equilibrium which yeah. is galaxy forward they decided to mash those beers up and make a supercharged eight percent double ipa with citron galaxy yeah which sounds amazing this is a month old right now so pretty good territory yeah. for fresh in terms of freshness which is amazing and this was purchased in denmark in copenhagen that's crazy we can't thank Yippe and Mikkel enough for the things that they do for the beer scene here man they get so much crazy stuff over here but i'm yeah. fucking excited pours Amazing color. Yeah, I mean this looks so juicy. This looks like a tree. Yeah, thinking. we talked about it. It looks like something uh, like green. It like. looks like kind of like you melted like a creamsicle. Or yeah, something. it's like, like creamsicle green. Yeah, color. it looks as you said. It looks like tree is green yeah. or glowing or orange. Something like a glowing bright orange color. Nice white head on there. Ready for some Citroen Galaxy? Yep. Check it out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That smells like lemon ice cream and orange <laughs> ice cream. That is so dense. What the fuck? It is so hop saturated. This is crazy. It smells like, uh, almost like the uh, Kumhauna stang. Yes. <laughs> and that is, uh, basically, the uh, Kumhauna stang is a pineapple <gasps> cream. Yeah. But, uh, is it fuck. orange? But it's, I think it's It pineapple. has that orange, yeah. it's uh, orange pineapple. pineapple. Yeah. yeah. But it's creamsicle-like. It, you know, it, re it reminds me of having Trillium's Eldorado cutting tiles. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it reminds but, me of having but Trillium's Galaxy bit, cutting tiles. Yeah, but so. <laughs> it's a, maybe it's a bit more complex. It's so juicy orange creamsicle, almost yeah. like vanilla. -y. They say I, I, I they was say thinking tropical, about vanilla. They say tropical fruit sorbet for yeah. sure. It's like those sorbet yeah. juicy fruits, and I can feel talking about this beer. My saliva is again. <laughs> I just feel it swiping yeah. all across the palate. Saliva gusher, hashtag saliva gusher. Huge Shit. orange, huge pineapple, hu huge, uh, <sighs> yeah, melon. Okay. Melon yeah. um, and vanilla. But the thing with it is just like the juiciness is uh, super juicy, but it's so dense though. Yeah, it's so dense. I noticed that with a lot of the breweries at, at NBCC from the States, and what the States has that Europe doesn't have completely yet, some beers do, mm. is that dense hop flavor. Yeah. I think. Putty, for example, has it yeah. from Verdant and yeah, some I other agree. Verdant beers and some of the Cloud Warriors. Some of the beers do, but it's not often you find a beer that's this no. dense in hop no. aromas. This uh, must have extremely fresh hops. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, of course, the, the whole brewing technique with the yeast yeah, and yeah, yeah. malt must be just... Actually, the melon thing is not too much. and definitely has bubblegum. Yeah. Wrigley's juicy fruit yeah, bubblegum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge yeast ester. Okay. Fuck. That is... Enough fucking talking. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. And thanks, Julio. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, the fucking aftertaste on that, <laughs> and the mouthfeel. Holy shit! It's like drinking this, a smoothie. This is exactly <laughs> the experience I had when I had a treehouse beer for the first time. 
This is exactly yeah. the same. <laughs> and for me, like when I had, yeah, Trillium and Monkeys and <laughs> all that the first time. It is so saturated. <sighs> yeah. It is so saturated with hop flavor. <sighs> I wonder if we have viewers in the windows at the moment. We're being quite loud about this beer. <laughs> um, well, the aftertaste right now, I'm getting loads of melon and lemon oh. and lime. But they said, they said tropical fruit sorbet. Yeah. yeah. And orange sorbet. It's like all like these fruit sorbets. I'd say more sorbet than creamsicle on the flavor. Yeah, it's more sorbet-ish. <laughs> That's not a bad no, I don't. No, not at all. Um, and you get uh, a bit of that slight hint of something uh, like an <laughs> orange peel. This is so good. Candied orange peel. I'd say this is actually kind of yeah. Candied orange. This is better than some of the IPAs. A lot of the IPAs ah. poured at MBCC. <laughs> this is better than everything I had at MBCC. I think maybe on par with the best Monkish. We yeah, had. yeah. But Monkish was not as like heavy on the yeast esters no. as this. This is really reminding me of drinking a treehouse. Yeah. Because it's, it's has that intense yeah. juicy estery character. Big stone fruit as well. Peachy mm. uh, type flavors, but. Orange and the, the mouthfeel is yeah. crazy. The mouth feel is super creamy. Yeah, it's so dense. Everything is dense. The mm -hmm. flavor, the aroma, the what I mean mouth feel. When, what I mean when I say condensed, it's like you just squeeze so much hot yeah. flavor. Yeah. So it's like so dense. It's like saturated. Oh, it's saturated, coating yeah. everything on the palate. It also had that we talk about dripping tropical fruit flavor, mm. or dripping juicy fruit flavor. It's like that, like over super ripe tropical fruits. Mm. As for tropical fruits, for me, it's the sweet kind. It's the mangoes, it's the papayas. Not so much pineapple, actually, compared to the Yeah, aroma. it's a bit more in the aroma, that yeah. pineapple-y. And, and big orange, big mandarin orange, big tangerine, just like a huge mashup. It's almost like you mashed up Julius and Green. Yeah. Actually, mm. when I think of those two beers, because Julius is more citrus, Green is more tropical. It's all, it's kind of like that, something like that smacked together and done like a double IPA, really. And that's like the highest <laughs> praise I guess you can give a double IPA or some of it. Mm. This is the best double IPA I've had this year. Yeah. It is. I, I, you know, I wouldn't, I don't know what I would change about it. No, there's nothing no. to change for, for about this year. But this is like, this is the definition of the perfectly executed juice bomb. Yeah, because you know, this is the real juice, juice bomb. bomb. And yeah. if you can retaste this as a yeast oriented yeah. beer as well, like where whereas you have Trillium. For example, it's, it's more focusing on hops. Mm. There's just so much yeast character and there's so much estery character. Yeah. And the esters is like that kind of stone fruit, candy-like stone fruit flavor as well. And also big on that bubblegum. Yeah. The juicy fruit bubblegum yeah. is juicy huge. Fruit bubble gum. Yeah. I really, I'd love to know what yeast they use in this. Yeah. This is, uh, this is, this balls. And I think I might drop the bomb. Yeah. I'm thinking about uh, it. Yeah. It's uh, the best double IPA I've had all year. Hunnets. Yeah. Boom. Let's done. This is I as good as shit. something like Putty. And Putty is a Hunnets. Putty is a Hunnets. Yeah. And this is better this, than Putty. Yeah. Or, or yeah perhaps, they're in the actually, same territory. Yeah. And Putty, putty was, is a bit more, has a bit more of that slightly biting aftertaste. I yeah. And say. a bit more bitterness. This is not bitter at all. This is just like juice. Yeah. But Putty has the same saturated, mm -hmm. dense. This is more when you think New England pure, yeah. juicy, juice gushing. Gushing mm. tropical fruit, citrus fruit flavors. It's not got as much bitterness to balance, and I think that can be the problem for some because it's quite sweet tropical fruit. Yeah, and sweet fruit flavors, and, and there's actually, not much bitterness. There's but some I really passion like fruit too. I yeah, get a bit of a passion fruity. I don't, I don't think it's mm. as tart when uh, you know uh, in the flavor as it is in the aroma, but I still get a bit, of, bit of that passion fruity. And I'm actually yeah. not getting as much melon either in no. the flavor as it. It's more tropical and citrus. Yeah. All the flavor, but, but yeah, hunnids. Yeah, yeah. Let let's go hunnids because it's been a long time since I've, I've had a yeah. IPA like this. Yeah. If you still have any cans of this in the fridge, drink it now, or if you want to try it, get in a trade right now. It's great right now at a month old. Mm. So get get to trading. It's damn good juice, bomby bombs. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. That was that was nice. That yeah. is, uh, it's been a while since we had a review like this with something yeah. this crazy. That was fun. And I was a bit afraid the hype would be overshadowed because you were talking so much. Yeah, and we were yeah. happy hyping it up because it was so explosively yeah, it, aromatic. It's just, a, it's just but a it lived up to it. And we're rambling on now. So guys, if you had a chance to try District Ninety Six and Equilibrium's Sexual Fluctuation, let us know what you thought of the beer. This was amazing double IPA. And as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Here's to Julio. Julio. Thank you, dude. Cheers, my friend. <laughs>
and see you in another peer review. <laughs>